New at 10, winery trips will be hitting the water soon. This luxury yacht is headed to St. Charles County and plans are in motion to bring cruises to the Missouri River. It's all part of the overhaul underway at wineries in Augusta. The boat will dock at nearby Klondike, Klondike Park and connect visitors to Washington, Missouri. News 4's Alexis Zotos is uncorking the new details tonight. Alexis. That's right. You know, we've always seen riverboats as a big tradition here in downtown St. Louis, but they are going to be part of a new venture in St. Charles County as part of this massive expansion in wine country. It's where Lewis and Clark once explored, but in just a matter of months, this section of the Missouri River will be the new home to Miss Augusta a luxury yacht made to help wine lovers experience historic Missouri wine country from a different perspective. Augusta and St. Charles are so based on the waterfront. That's how the area was built and you know how people came here. And so it's just really exciting to have that portion. There's nothing on the water right now. So to take tours up and down uh, to Washington, to back, maybe to St. Charles and back, we're just really excited to be able to showcase that part of this area. St. Charles County was already planning to build a brand new boat dock here at Klondike Park. Park, but now they'll work together with the Hoffman family, the name behind the $100 million investment in Augusta wine country. The Hoffmans are working on consolidating 700 acres of wineries with plans to add a hotel, golf course, and trolley rides to shuttle guests back and forth. That trolley service will also help ensure there is no strain on parking or the relaxing environment at Klondike Park. We'll have all our guests park off site, so it's not gonna interfere with any of the boaters that are there already. With Monday night's approval granted from St. Charles County Council, they'll get to work quickly. Our goal is to do some sort of cruises before winter hits, so we're gonna hit the ground running and have that boat here soon. St. Charles County will still maintain ownership and control of that dock. The Hoffman family of companies will operate their tourism operation from it, but they will be paying the County Parks Department a fee per person. Alexis Zotos, News 4.